That's ICD-11. Uh, you're getting ready for ICD-10. Uh, you have to use ICD-10 by October 1st, 2014, or else, or else you'll get fined. It's the law. There's only one diagnostic system that you're required to use by federal law since HIPAA came out, and that's the ICD, not the DSM. Everyone is really anxious about nailing the DSM-5. Many people signed up. I'm glad you did sign up. Uh, and they're very anxious. And they're thinking, what does this mean? And I keep telling everyone that the DSM is a manual produced by one guild, the American Psychiatric Association. They work very hard on it. They've researched it quite well. Brilliant people worked on it. They are not the evil empire. It is well organized. It has valuable information in it. But it is a manual for one guild. They make five million dollars a year selling it as a product. It is biased towards psychiatry, in other words, medication. The World Health Organization is an organization from the United Nations. And starting in 1948, they're collecting data from all over the world. The World Health Organization is currently doing research uh, for uh, mental health professionals, 22 countries, thousands of participants, asking them what they're looking for in a diagnostic taxonomy, what they, are, what they need, what's helpful to you. The main thing they say is to inform treatment. Another thing they say is we have about 400 classifications, about 400. They're looking for a much shorter, more efficient one. Most diagnoses will have to do with anxiety, depression, psychosis, substance abuse, in that order. Most diagnoses in that area. Like 90% fit in there. There are some diagnoses that are in those manuals. It's used like 0.01% of the time. It's overwhelming. For those of you who uh, are sent here by agencies to to learn the DSM-5, tell them that you went to a workshop with an expert and said, you don't need the DSM-5. People like me need to study it. I'm a researcher. Uh, because it's so categorical and so clear, researchers like it. Surveys show that practitioners like the ICD much better. The closer you get to prototypes versus categories, it's more the way clinicians see people in terms of prototypes. Now. How does diagnoses, the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of the American Psychiatric Association, the International Classification of Diseases, uh, number nine, which you're required to use now, soon 10, and then eventually 11. Um, and when you look it up, somebody said to me, gee, I looked up the ICD-10, and it was all about neoplasms and injuries and infectious diseases. And I said, no, 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 just download, just download on your desktop, just go to the World Health Organization. Look up ICD-10, mental, dis mental and behavioral disorders. Mental and behavioral disorders, that section. It's the F section. You can put it on your desktop. You can get an app on your smartphone. And it's free. They'll have an app for the DSM-5. It is not free. It is a cash cow for the American Psychiatric Association. And you don't need it. But you do want to have copies of ICD-9, ICD-10. The apps are free. The apps won't be very descriptive. They'll just pretty much give you the listing. Just to remind you, it'll be only for billing, be using a couple. Now, I'm very practical. 